Nightfall on this day of terror brought with it the grave reports from the rescue operation at what is left of the World Trade Center. As the casualties continued to arrive, those helping were among the critically injured. Those who were looking for survivors trapped 13 hours after the buildings crashed down who became trapped themselves after building number seven at the World Trade Center, badly damaged by fire, collapsed. Well, we could just look around and barely see a little bit of light. We saw cops on the floor, firefighters on the floor, people reaching out and begging and saying, please don't leave me here, don't leave me here. I took maybe one guy and put him on the hood of his car that were, that were dead, but most of them had, most of them were jumping from the, from the building. Whoever these poor souls are, they didn't make it out. Much needed supplies are pouring in as heavy equipment mobilizes to carry the rubble away. Doctors at Beekman downtown already tending to almost 400 survivors and awaiting many more. They told us they'd be bringing the injured over in a while, but we haven't seen anybody for the last hour or so. So I don't know whether or not it's just because it's too difficult to still get into that area or not. As rescuers return from crawling around in what they say is a pitch black crater, they say the cries for help are becoming more sparse. This iron worker searching for his sister-in-law presumes she is among the dozens, if not hundreds, that are now dead. It's the biggest crawl space we got into, me and uh, my fellow uh, iron worker, what it was, uh, uh, close to 30 by 25 foot gap with 15 foot drop downs. Uh, we had no rope to propel down. Uh, basically, uh, we're just... You know, it's, it's a horrible thing. It's a one big crater in the middle of the building. You didn't spot any survivors? No survivors. No survivors whatsoever. No survivors.